to turn on a firmware password, you need to first shut down Mac OS so that your computer is completely off. Once it's completely off, hold down the command and R button and then press the power on button to go into recovery mode. Once you are in recovery mode, you can go into the menu, go to utilities and then click on startup security utility. And then click on turn on firmware password, which will allow you to prevent your computer from starting up from a different hard disk or USB drive without password. So let's click on that. Type in your new password and then type in the same password again to verify and then click set password. Then you can click quit startup security utility. So next time if you want to restart your Mac in recovery mode by holding down the command and R button while pressing on the power button, you will be asked to enter your firmware password. The advantage of this is so that in case your MacBook gets stolen, the thief won't be able to reinstall Mac OS. And in case the MacBook goes online or is connected to a network, you will be able to see its location on findmymac at icloud.com. For example, just recently, someone who was studying in a library left their MacBook unattended on a table for a few minutes while they went to the loo. And when they came back, the MacBook was gone and they didn't have a firmware password set. So even though Find My Mac was enabled in Mac OS, the thief would be able to wipe out the hard drive because it was no firmware password. All the thief had to do is restart the Mac in recovery mode and then they can reinstall a new Mac OS version without password. But if you did set the password on the MacBook, they won't be able to do that. So they couldn't resell the MacBook. And you will probably be able to track the location of your stolen Mac using Find My Mac on the iCloud website. So generally speaking, don't leave your MacBook unattended even if it's just for a short moment because it's just so easy that someone just pick it up and walks away without being noticed but just for added security measure remember to enable a firmware password also after the password is set you can either shut down or restart the computer